those videos that's probably gonna make some of you question my sanity and I'm completely okay with that. Like, I am happy to be your Phoebe friend. I'm happy to be your wackadoodle friend. <coughs> this is just for entertainment purposes. I actually genuinely believe this, but it is purely for your enjoyment that I am sharing my inner thoughts with the world. Today, I wanna talk about why I wholeheartedly, with my full chest, believe that Sir Elton John is the reincarnation of my first guide dog, Gypsy. Oh, he's rolling for belly rubs. Rolling for belly rubs. Can they see him? It's so Show the cute little muggin. There he is. There he is. There he is. He's getting a little yes. better at getting on the bed. Um, that said, he did fall off last night. Like, fully just, whoop, right off. So, I actually shared a big list of reasons why I think he is the reincarnation of Gypsy over on my Patreon, patreon.com slash Molly Burke, my little private fan club if you'd like to go join. We do lots of fun things over there. Um, but I shared this like probably five months ago with them. And some of them were like, yeah, fully I'm with you. And then some were like, wow, you're wacky. And I was like, both are accurate. Yes. And so I'm here to open it up to the rest of you to pipe in, chime in with your feedback and thoughts. And frankly, my list has only grown since then as I've gotten to know him more. Like, I was relatively sold on this idea pretty early on in our budding relationship as guide, doggy, and handler. It has only increased. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now, we all know I love a little animal communication moment, okay? I've done it pre-YouTube, before I ever did social media. I've done it multiple times with my dogs and my cat since, and I would love to do it with Elton John and maybe even see if I can find somebody who could connect to Ben Ben. So if anybody has recommendations for like a really good animal communicator who'd be down to do content, please drop it in the comments below. I'll pin a comment and you can like reply to that. Thank you and much appreciated. Um, but a lot of animal communicators that I follow on like TikTok and stuff actually do talk about the fact that you only have a very small number of pets in your life and their souls continue to come back to you. It's a soul agreement, a soul contract that you have with those animals and they agree to come back to you time and time again. So you only actually ever have like a couple of different souls and they return time and time again. That's kind of like, I already believe in this kind of stuff. I'm already a little woo like that. And so that kind of just confirmed even further to me that this is Gypsy, who is my only guide dog who has actually passed away. My family and I have talked for years about the fact that we believe that Gypsy is looking down like so jealous of my life and my career now because that girl was Princess Diva Dog extraordinaire. Like she loved the limelight. She loved getting compliments and attention, soaked it right up. She was an absolute ham for the camera. She was an absolute ham every time she was on stage with me speaking. She just would like, she was a Kardashian in dog form. And ever since I moved to LA, I was like, oh man, this was the life Gypsy would have dreamed of and she is rolling in her grave looking at Gallup like, that could have been me. And I swear, she's like, this is my time. This is my moment. I can go back to her and live out my best Hollywood fantasy famous doggy dreams. And I don't think we can ignore the fact that he's from the same litter theme. Now they have so many litter themes. like an unbelievable amount of different themes that they named their dogs under. The fact that I got a dog from the same litter theme, famous musicians, and his sister from his litter was named Gypsy. Like, I feel like she was giving me a little sign. She was like, <coughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But she knew that I loved boys. And so she was like, okay, I've got to go down as a boy this time but I'm gonna like be from the same litter and I'm gonna have a sister named Gypsy so she picks up my clues that I'm putting down for her. When I compare him to my other dogs, he is absolutely the most like Gypsy. Super extroverted, loves to get attention from people, always happy, super jovial, wagging his tail constantly. And we used to always joke that like Gypsy would even wag her tail when she was sick at the vet. When he had a fever of 105 and they were like, we literally can't even let you leave today because this is like a very dangerous fever and we can't let you leave with him until we break this fever. They were like, but it's unusual. He's like wagging his tail, like he's so happy still. Like I was like, boom, bing, 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 gypsy, that's her. And like he fully knows he's cute. And I get that this comes with the territory of having an extra aesthetic dog. Um, and I, you know, Ben Ben and Gallup, whilst beautiful boys, and they certainly got lots of attention for their beauty, 
they were more standard looking dogs. They looked they looked a little more generic like a black lab unless you really knew your dogs and then you could spot the features that weren't black lab about them. Gypsy and Elton by far look the most unique. They both look and oh my it would be Gypsy to come back very aesthetic once again. Like she wasn't going to come back and like look like a Labrador. Like she was like mm -mm, I got to be pretty again. I like the attention way too much for my looks. So Gypsy, constantly people were like, oh my God, what breed is that? I've never seen a dog like it. Like somebody on my street went out of their way to get a Labernese in the hopes that they would get a dog that looked like Gypsy because that's how much they loved her beauty. And Elton John constantly gets questions. I'm always being asked, what breed is that? He's so stunning, so unusual, oh my God. Like he by far gets more attention over Ben Ben and Gallup for his looks. And so I know that like Gypsy and Elton love getting attention for their looks because they know they're cute like they know that they get the attention so they love to get it even more and that could just be a result of being cute and getting compliments all the time but i don't know i feel like i feel like it's a connection and i feel like not only did she hear me like up from heaven being like i love boy dogs but she also heard me always being like i want a long haired dog i want a long haired dog and she was like okay she won't be able to resist me my only two dogs that literally picked me were Gypsy and Elton. Like Gypsy fully chose me during guide dog training, during dog selection. The trainers were like, you might not want Gypsy, which I didn't. She was not my first choice. I wanted a black lab named Cleo, but that's besides the point. Um, but they were like, Gypsy wants you, like that's your dog. And it was the same with Elton. I remember very early on when I was testing all the different dogs, I did a walk. And when we got back from the walk, he sat between my legs with his bum between my legs and he tipped his head back. Do you remember this? Yes. And he looked up at me and he started going, like giving kisses at my face. And the trainers were like, oh, he wants you. Like he's really flirting with you. He's really, he's like showing you he wants you to pick him. And Gallup and Ben Ben didn't ever have one of those moments where it was like, oh, they've picked me. But Gypsy and Elton definitely both had a distinct moment like that where they were like, me. Me, it's me, please pick me. Also, there's just very unique tendencies. Like Gypsy is the only dog that used to sit pretty. When it was her, I called it sitting pretty. When it's him, I call it teddy bear, his teddy bear sit. So this is a picture of Gypsy doing it when I just got her, just got home from training when I was 13 years old. And I will insert some footage of Elton doing it. The pretty sit, the teddy bear sit, it is the same. And they're my only two dogs who have ever done this. Gypsy came to me during like the worst year of my life. I was rapidly losing my vision. I was being bullied really badly, losing the friends that I had, struggling with situational depression for the first time. It was just an awful year all around. Like God really was like, mm, it's not enough, I'll pile some more. And it feels like Elton came to me in a very similar year. You guys know I made this video where I expressed like the challenges that I went through in 2022. And it feels like Gypsy came to me again during that same type of period in my life. A year of a lot of struggle and hardship and challenge. She was like, I'm bringing my joy back to you. I healed you that first time. I'm coming to heal you and walk by your side again. Also, Gallup and Ben Ben were like very, very attached to me. They had eyes for me only, me and me alone. Whereas Gypsy and Elton are a little more open with their love, should I say. They're, they certainly very much clearly show me that I'm their number one that I am their top priority, that I am their favorite, but they're open, you know? They're like, oh, but you too. Whereas Ben Ben and Gallup were just like, no, nah, I'm just here for my mom. I don't really care about anybody else. Even if they were off harness and other people were giving them attention, they like didn't really care. Whereas Gypsy and Elton are like, like I always joke that if somebody came up to me and like tried to steal my purse, he'd be like, give the nice man your purse, mommy, he wants it. He's the dog that when he goes to the vet or the groomers and they like take his leash and he, he just happily runs away with them. Doesn't even look over his shoulder at me. He's like, okay, bye mom. Maybe I'll never see you again, but it's been great. Like, whereas Ben Ben and Gallup are like, mommy, 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 mommy. Gypsy and Elton are my belly rub licky dogs. They both love a belly rub and they're both kissy. And it's really funny because I actually had to train Gypsy out of kissing me because it was so aggressive. So I, I did train her out of it. And it's like, he is licky, but much less than Gypsy. I feel like she was like, okay, okay, okay. She didn't like the kisses last time, but it's still in me. I gotta get the kisses. So she like scaled it back. 
You know, she's like, I'll do less. I'll do less, but I still gotta do a little bit. Because Ben and Gallup, no licks. Not kissers. Not their thing. Never. Like, mm -mm -mm. Not gonna lick you. Yeah, Gypsy and Elton, they're my they're my lickers. Yes, like of course Gallup and Ben Ben love a belly rub too, but not to the degree that Gypsy and Elton do. Like if you start to pet either of them, I'm talking about like if Gypsy's still alive. Like when Gypsy was alive and now with Elton, the moment you begin to pet them, instant roll on the back for belly. That is their priority at all times. Another one, neither of them like water or rain. They're not swimmers and they do not like the rain. Whereas like Ben and Gallup, Gallup ended up developing a fear of swimming and then we ended up breaking, you know, but he was a swimmer and so was Benny. Whereas Elton and Gypsy, hard no on the water. And you've got to keep in mind, all four of them are the same breed. So it's not like, oh, well, like Gypsy and Elton have the Bernese Mountain Dog and Burners don't like swimming. Like they're all Burners mixed with a lab. So it's just interesting. And Gypsy was short haired. So it's not like, oh, they both have long hair and that's why. They, like, he hates going out in the rain. And that, my only other dog that was like that was Gypsy. They're princesses. Like, he is a certified princess. They're, they're my high maintenance ones. You're very high maintenance. <laughs> so look, that's everything that comes to mind right now. I am sure there is more. But overall, this isn't that serious. If he is not the reincarnation of Gypsy, I don't care. I absolutely love him. Um, I really feel like as of December, we, we hit the turning point in our bonding. And yeah, we did, didn't we? Um, I'm just, I'm really happy with him. And whilst I do firmly believe he is Gypsy, come back for me, um, whether it's for the good times or simply to haunt me, she's back. And if you don't believe it, if you don't believe in reincarnation, if you don't believe in soul contracts, if you don't believe in animal communicators, that's fine. You're entitled to your own opinion. You don't need to like come at me or anybody else who does believe it in the comments, like, it's fine. You're entitled to your opinion and beliefs. I'm entitled to mine. If this was just like a little bit of fun for you, I hope it was entertaining. And if you're also somebody who believes in these things, let me know your thoughts. Like, did I sell you? Are you with me? Do you believe it? Let me know. Okay, I just actually finished filming, but I wanted to say one more thing. I personally find this idea comforting because I feel like this means that one day I'll get Gallup back again and one day I might even get Ben Ben back again. So I think if you, whatever you need to do that's comforting to you to help you heal and move forward, do it regardless of what other people think of it. Let me know if you feel like you've had a reincarnation in your life. Like, do you know an animal or, or a dog or person that you feel has been reincarnated and brought back to you? I'd be curious to know. Anyways, until next time, you can click over here to watch this doggy related video or over here to watch this doggy related video because I know you're all here for the dogs, really. It's not about me. It's their channel.